Hello and welcome to Chasm Tutorials. My name is Sean and in this video I would like to show you the new S7 communications channel in Somatic WinCC version 7.3. The first thing we will need to do is create a new project. The new project dialog will open up and allow me to choose a single user or server client project. For the basis of this tutorial, we will choose the single user project. You can now give your project a name and choose the location for the project files. I will accept the default locations and click create. In a few seconds, WinCC will organize my project tree. The project has now been created and WinCC Explorer is now open. All of your configuration tools are located here on the left. We now need to launch the Configuration Studio via the Tag Management icon. You have now launched the Configuration Studio. Take a quick moment to notice the core components located on the navigation tabs. Tag Management, Alarm Logging, and Historical Archiving are all accessible in one common environment. Since we will be connecting to an S7-1200 PLC, we need to add a communications channel. Right-click on Tag Management and add the 1200-1500 channel. At this point, you will need to right-click OMS Plus, click New Connection, and give your PLC a name. Once you've given your connection a name, right-click on your PLC and choose Connection Parameters. This will open a dialog box that will allow you to enter the IP address of your S7-1200 controller. Since I already have an S7-1200 PLC configured on my network, I will go ahead and add the IP address of that device. Next, I will select Multipoint Interface from the drop-down menu, MPI. And finally, choose the proper controller under the product family. If read-write access protection is enabled on your S7-1200 controller, you will need to add the password here, under the Options tab. No password is set for this tutorial, so I will just click OK. Now it's time to test our connection to see if it works. Navigate to the WinCC Explorer and click the Play button. This will put the project into runtime mode. You will get a prompt asking for a start screen. I will click Cancel since we haven't configured any graphics. It is important to notice that the application has remained in runtime mode. Now you can navigate back to the Configuration Studio to verify the connection. The green check mark means we are connected and communicating with the S7-1200. Next, right-click the connection, hover, and select Read from Automation System. A status bar will appear, and your tags will automatically import. Now that you've succeeded, you will notice that there are no tags listed yet. On the AS Symbols tab, you can select individual tags or simply right-click Access and select All. Now your tags are ready for use in your WinCC application. I appreciate you taking the time and I hope you found this video helpful. Please feel free to subscribe to the Chasm Digital Factory Solutions YouTube channel or comment on our video. Thanks for watching.